I guarantee you will make more money on, in person. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on my channel. This video is going to be me telling you guys how to get your business, your brand noticed locally, how to start selling on um, hand locally. I feel like I'm saying the word wrong, locally, local, in your neighborhood, in your area, in your city, whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you guys three important steps that you guys need to know when it comes to selling in person. I'm going to tell you guys what I have been doing, what worked for me, and some tips that I've learned along the way. So the first little section is going to be having your stuff together having your ish together having it together okay so in this category that includes um, we're going to cover business cards bags prices facts um, how you take payments um, negotiating and professionalism so this is my basket I just upgraded from this I'll show you guys what I was using when I first started I was using this my boyfriend gave this to me you know yeah, you have to start at the bottom go your way up but I was using whatever literally whatever I had um so I used this put my little hay stuff at the bottom and some my products sold my products like that my little business card was right there I upgraded to a basket I just thought it looked cuter look more professional it was easier to hold because I was walking around by myself so it was just um easier overall I want you guys to be able to see it. Yeah, so this is my basket. This is how it looks. So professionalism is, I feel like, one of the most important things when you're selling on hand. If I had t-shirts for my business, which I'm going to get really soon, I will be wearing my t-shirts, wearing my business gear whenever I go out to sell. But if you have a little basket, you look like you prepared, you look professional, um, then people will give you the time of day. Or this is how it looks when I walk up to somebody, the first thing you see is me walking towards you. <laughs> and then in here I have little baggies. These I got from Dollar Tree, they were um, three for a dollar. And then on the bag, I don't have stickers yet, I'm still working on it, but you know, I still have to have my stuff together. So I printed out labels where it says my website, kpnaturalproducts.com, just in case you wanted to get more from me. So I have four products right now. I'm trying to get rid of these. Uh, these are on sale right now for like $14. These need to be gone. If you want them, let me know. Um, and at the bottom of my basket, I have my little, whatever these are called, my shredded paper, you know, that goes along with my brand. And then on top of it goes my products, you know, so it looks like very warm and inviting. So that's the first tip about professionalism make sure whatever you're doing is incorporated in your brand to make sure that people know you know just look professional you guys know what i'm saying i can't say it better than that just look professional have business cards always i shouldn't even tell you guys why you have to have business cards and i actually ran out of business cards in the midst of me selling so i know how annoying it is to be like i don't have any right now um can you take a picture of my um website like i was literally so mad i ran out because i was at that time i was selling like day after day after day so i literally ran out of cards i was just so mad and i know you're supposed to always have business cards but i ran out because i was selling i was i was doing my thing i was selling but i you know have have a way for your um customers to take the items from you so i do have these boxes where i sell um on hand i'm still like the deciding if I want to use this for my on hand drop box or if I want to use the bags let me know what you guys prefer the baggies or the boxes let me know what you guys think it looks better because I'm honestly not sure no we also have to start from somewhere but if this stuff will just make it easier for you make sure you know how much everything costs um make sure when I can go up to you and say oh, how much is that you could tell me boom 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 you don't have to be like um I think that one is or no tell them the price and be bold about it and do not negotiate with your prices to people that you meet in person just don't think just because this in person is a faster sale it's easier money that you should negotiate no your products are all the same value that they are online so do not negotiate know your facts about about the product if i ask you people ask me all the time what does this do for me if i were to buy it how would it affect my i could have to know what my product does body butters oh yeah it's good for da 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 I was selling at a hospital before and then this pregnant lady came to me and she was like, oh, um, will it help with my stretch marks? Will it help with my stretch marks? I was like, yeah, I definitely will. If you use it consistently, use it da-da-da. And then, you know, like I have to know what I'm talking about. Because if I ask you, oh, 
you're selling lashes oh, okay how many times can i wear them what type of what type of lashes are they what's the length and you don't know i'm gonna be like why should i buy from you if you don't if you don't know what's going on with your own brand know if you're taking cash or card and you should be taking cash and card um so if you guys don't know you guys can always go to square reader and i got mine I, I got mine initially from um staples that one was only ten dollars i had to get an adapter which my boyfriend had and that's what i was using my first couple of days when i got my sales and then i went onto the website to connect it because you have to connect it through a desktop and then connect it to your phone so that whenever you make a sale on your website on the app um it transfers over to the square card reader app and then that's where you kind of do the connection but you have to download it and then it asks you if you want one it's free i don't know why i didn't know about this one before so i wanted to tell you guys like these are free if you go through the website and the app is free so you do have to pay taxes when you do withdraw money but it's very little i think i got paid like 85 when i was on hand for that day and i took out 83 so it's a very little amount but you still have to pay taxes for it or fees or whatever so the square the square card reader looks like this i haven't used this one yet because i haven't been selling in a second but this one is the one for the adapter straight for the phone for the you know the iphone and stuff the one i had we didn't needed a connector and then basically you put it into your phone or your ipad and they swipe their card through here i haven't had any problems with these i've used mine a couple of times perfectly fine so if you do have if you don't have one and you want to sell on hand, I suggest that you just order it from here for free. It's free shipping. Everything is free. Put in your website. I mean, put in your address and then it's free. So if you want to sell with a card, then I suggest this because you don't have to pay for anything besides fees. Step two. Step two. Know your sales pitch. This is something that I find a lot of entrepreneurs don't know um, as far as if I ask you, if you're coming to me and you're like, hi, what are you going to say after that? You have to know what your self what your sales pitch is and it has to be quick you have to know what it is you can't be looking like uh, uh you have to get straight to the point it has to be catchy it has to be fast it has to catch my attention so i <laughs> this part is kind of like so weird to me i'm still working on mine but i think i do have a little bit of a sales pitch together so when i see somebody I say in strategic with the words that you use. So I, but when I first started, you know, I had to test it out, see what worked, see what worked, see what didn't work. When I first started, I was like, "Hi, um, my name is Kayla. I'm selling natural care products. Do you mind looking at? Um, do you want to see my stuff? Would you like to see my stuff?" And then my boyfriend told me like, "Why would they want to see your stuff?" And it sounded mean, but that's true. Why would they want to? Why would a random person on the street want to see my stuff? They wouldn't. They didn't come here to see me. They came here to do what they had to do. I'm interjecting myself in their day. I have to make myself, you know, I have to make my products. I have to big them up, basically. I have to let them know that my products is good. Like, you should check it out. So now I say, hi, my name is Kayla. Um, can I show you my stuff? Can I show you my stuff? So a big thing when you're selling in person or selling, period. And I learned this from my old bosses. Like, honestly, I feel like everything happens for a reason. I worked at Payless for a while and I hated it but my manager there taught me so much about selling and so much about being a salesperson and honestly i feel like it's all paying off now and i feel like that's kind of what i'm going through what i'm going through with, as far as jobs going through like nine jobs at only 18 um i feel like it makes sense and it's all paying off now but he told me like you never ask closed-ended questions because then i give them a chance that gives, that gives them an out so i know it's kind of annoying to be kind of like on them on them on them but you have to guys like you really really have to so now i say hi um introduce yourself make it short simple and cute hi i'm kayla i sell natural care products can i show you my stuff and that is kind of a close um in the question but here's what i do i say can i show you my stuff they either say no and they'll be like no like rude and they'll just keep walking okay i let them walk but if they but if somebody says like yeah or they say nothing when they say nothing is your chance to go in and take it you have to be like okay um they'd be like oh uh, and they'll keep walking or they won't say nothing and they're like mm, thinking like and they're about to say no you'd be like okay i sell natural care products i sell body butters that will do this for your skin i sell rose waters that will do this i have lip scrubs that will do that and you have to go in there at that point and basically tell them why they should look at it so if you sell lashes and you say okay hi my name is kayla i sell lashes and can i show you my my products 
or can I show you my lashes? Can I show you my bundles? Can I show you my lip glosses? Whatever. And then, then, then they're like, uh, you say my bundles last up, last up until this many times. You can wash and dye it, whatever. I don't know about hair. Um, you can reuse it this many times. You can re reuse my lashes this many times. They do well when you wash it. You like just tell them facts. I just spitting out facts at them. Cause then at that point, most of the time they 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 just be like, all right, just let me see it. So that's when you have to go in. That's kind of like the seal, the, the kind of like the almost seal. And then the seal is when they start looking at your stuff. And then they'd be like, <laughs> somebody just commented, do, do the video about selling on hand. Here I am. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's when they'd be like, that's like the almost, you almost sealed the sale. So then when they're looking at it and they ask you how much, how much is it? Because I literally sit there and sell my product. Well, you know, I'm still learning, still working on it. But I try to sell my product while they're looking at it so that they don't think, like, I could get this from cheaper. Or I don't know if I want this or anything like that. I, I sell it while they're looking. Oh, you want to? And then what I do is my product, my products smell amazing. If you have ever smelled my products in person, you know my product smells so good. Um, so here's what also another thing that I do that brings everybody in, <laughs> that makes everybody want to buy my, my, my butter. It's like, this one, whenever I do this step, it makes everyone want to buy it. I'll be like, okay. When I bring them in, after I kind of almost sealed the, the deal, they'll look at it and they'll be like, mm, mm, they'll be like, how much? I'll be like, is this much? They'll be like, oh, okay. My price is a little bit not what people normally expect, especially because I'm a small business. They think I'm supposed to be super cheap and like, dirt cheap and five dollars three dollars for a body scrub no that's not the case our products are good quality and i know it and i'm going to treat it as that as that so when i tell them my price they'd be like oh okay i'd be like do you want to smell it when i say do you want to smell it they be like yeah and they fall in love with it like i swear like if i couldn't if people couldn't smell my products i don't even know if i would have as many sales as i have or had honestly you have to have something that, that seals the deal and smelling my stuff seals the deal whenever they smell my stuff it's like scents in my business is such a big thing because it's all stuff it's everything here goes on your skin talking really fast everything here goes on your skin so when i tell them oh do you want to smell it and then they smell it they fall in love with it like that's the main way i get my sales through that oh can you do you want to smell it that's why i wish you guys could smell my stuff because it smells so good and then that's my deal breaker once they smell it they'd be like yeah either at that point they either want it or they don't i still try to push it i push it i push it and it, sometimes they just don't want it which is okay and then when they don't want it don't just walk away and say okay say okay take my business card take my website take it down so that you guys can always come back if you change your mind the last area of selling is basically to go out into the world and all I have written down here is to keep track of your sales. I kind of messed up on this and I sold a lot in person and it took up a lot of, in like I got rid of a lot of inventory. And this is all I have left, the four bunches. I made a lot of product about two weeks ago and that's all I have left. And I literally sold out of like all my sprays. I brought like 30 and I have one left, <laughs> one left guys. So. Somebody brought my last shimmer yesterday. It's just like, I have one rose water left and I got to re-up because I, and, I, and I honestly feel like until I get popping on YouTube and on my business, until it goes viral, when it goes viral, a lot of my money will be coming from sales in person. And if you're not making sales online, because it, it's hard online, go out and sell, sell and I guarantee you will make more money on, in person. I guarantee if you take the steps that i give you and you're actually out there and don't treat it like it's like the little side job that's something that i have to learn well i kind of i know how to when to sell and how long to sell for when i sold my stuff those days i sold from morning i treated like a job I, I sold from about i sold from i don't even remember like five hours at a time when, when i did sell my good days, five hours at a time. You have to be out there. You have to just be out there. So I guarantee you, if you're out there for at least five hours selling your stuff, being not being shy, because I was also very shy when I first started, but I was like, you know, at the end of the day, everybody had to sell on hand before they got popping. 
if you see my last video you know like you have to have certain steps to be a ceo and you have to have you have to sell on hand so with that being said go out into the world keep track of your sales keep track of the money that you're spending push yourself and don't be shy and i think with those types tips you will be very successful as long as your products aren't like trash you're going to be very successful and i'm telling you guys if you're not making sales online don't give up keep going but sell on person if you need money and you want to see money generating in your business online is not the only way yes it is probably the way you can reach the most people but try something in your neighborhood go to the bodegas go to the hair salons and i know it probably sounds and looks crazy because i know when i see people coming in like when i used to see people come into like you know salons like oh i have cds or i have purses i have jewelry i'll be like no like i don't want to see it but honestly that's how you get your stuff out there those people were smart i was dumb for thinking that that was the wrong way of doing it online is not your only option guys go out and sell your stuff in person go to jobs i went to um, a hospital my grandmother worked there so you know there were pregnant people coming out i sold to pregnant people because you know they have stretch marks i sold to people that have eczema like just go out and sell guys you cannot be scared that's the biggest thing um don't be scared. I think it's kind of easier when you have lashes. I think the easiest thing you could probably sell is lashes and lip glosses because lashes is you like what you see is what you get. If you want 25 mm lashes, and somebody shows you 25 mm lashes, what you see is what you get. It's either at that point you want it or you don't. All they can really push is like how well it does when you wash it, how long it lasts. But besides that, I think lashes are easy. I think lip gloss is easy because people buy lip gloss every day. I know I buy it like every other week, twice a week. I lose mine all the time. These are the ones that I buy. And I know if, my, if somebody came up to me and said, okay, I have lip glosses for $2.99, $5, um, and they were pretty, I would buy it. I know I would. As long as you're not acting scary, I would definitely buy it. So I think lip glosses and lashes are like the easiest thing you can sell on hand. I don't know but that's pretty much it for this video guys um i'm doing a video every day in august if you have any more suggestions comment it down actually i'm gonna do a q a soon if i get enough comments on this video i'll do it in my next video but comment down any questions you have for me anything whether it's content creation questions youtube questions personal questions um i'm a full-time college student if you have questions about that um, business questions, obviously, entrepreneurship questions, anything, anything that pertains to me or you, whatever, ask me questions about it. And I will do a QA. Um, thank you guys for being so supportive, and I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully, it's a QA. Bye, guys. Oh, I didn't even shout out my brand. Go shop KPMP. Um, my website is kpnaturalproducts.com. Instagram is KP Natural Products. Go follow CEOs Wear Heels on Instagram. That is a new woman entrepreneurship or CEO page where I started where we can all just share share our ideas and our expertise. And then I also help you guys with some stuff in your business as far as like graphics and content creation. That's where all that stuff goes down. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.